This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll talk more about them later. So it's been said that being a parent is the most difficult job in the world. Really? All I ever hear from parents is, oh, you're tired now? Wait until you have kids. Oh, you wanna be a minimalist? Try that with kids. Oh, you think you're busy now? I haven't taken a sh in five years. As soon as I found out that my wife and I were gonna have a baby, I was excited to prove everyone wrong. There's no way that parenting is that hard. So I decided to document my first 30 days being a dad. Uh... How to sum up the past 30 days. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> I'll never forget the moment when I first heard Frankie cry. I just lost it. I just started crying. I just did not realize how much it would change me meeting my son for the first time. After having gone through such a challenging labor, seeing Nat pushed to her limit, seeing that Frankie was distressed at times, knowing that both of them were okay, was just this immense amount of relief. And at the same time, there was this immense amount of respect and admiration for, for Nat and what she had done and what she had sacrificed to get us to that point. And then there was a moment when we were wheeling him to our room when I realized, holy shit, <laughs> We have to take care of a baby now. The learning curve to becoming a parent is steep. It's basically vertical. We took every class you could imagine before having a baby. So this is Nat's infamous binder filled with all of the research from the past nine months. Breastfeeding, parenting 101, CPR for kids, hypnobirthing. We got a doula, we read the books, we listened to the podcasts, and it was still hard as f The first week, unequivocally for us, was the worst part. It was... The worst. So hard. Wake I think, of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Since there was just so much to learn, you're constantly Googling things. Is it normal that my baby only looks right? How much does a newborn sleep? Why does my son look like Wallace Shawn? Learning how to change a diaper, understand his cues, bathing, swaddling, and mastering breastfeeding, it was all very overwhelming, and it brought us to a breaking point. You have so many moments where you think, what did we just get ourselves into? Why was it so Why was hard? it so hard? Well, yeah. for us specifically, it was hard, I think, for a number of factors. One, we were in the hospital for six days. Frankie here was losing weight, so we were really struggling to know how to feed him. That was just so stressful and scary. And then on top of that, I don't think we had the best midwife care, so we had a lot of guilt and shame through our experience. And then on top of that, we were just incredibly vulnerable. Like, we were brand new parents, not at home, but in a, in a hospital sterile environment. And we I feel like we lost our sense of intuition and confidence in ourselves, but it all changed really quickly as soon as we came home after six yeah. days. Look who it is! Oh. Oh. So once we got home, we really started to get into a rhythm and things got a little bit, dare I say, easy. It was still hard, but nothing, nothing like those first few weeks for us. And now Frankie's crying in the background. <laughs> Nat got more confident breastfeeding, Frankie started to gain weight. After a week, we were getting more than three hours of sleep a night. I know, it's rude to brag. And I've gotta say that I got so good at diaper changes, I could do it blindfolded. He just shit on me, didn't he? As we were getting close to the four week mark, Nat and I had a conversation and decided that it was time for me to get back to work. Do you want to do some editing with Dada? You don't? That's okay. I don't want to edit either! After unsuccessfully trying to wing it on day one, we decided to set up a schedule and discuss responsibilities. Wake up times, getting ready, bottle feeds, bath time. When will I finish up work so Nat can have a break? I really felt pulled in a million directions. I wanted to focus on my work. I wanted to prioritize my health. I wanted to spend as much time as I could with Frankie and I didn't want to miss a second of any of it. As I tried to find my footing as a dad, I made adjustments to make time for everything I could. 
I subscribed to a meal prep service. I cut my workouts down to three days a week and I started running everywhere, to the gym, to the grocery store, to the coffee shop. In the midst of this literal sprint, I realized I needed to start letting go. And as complicated as my life was getting with a child, I needed to simplify my life now more than ever. Truthfully, one of the reasons you haven't seen me on here as much is because I've been trying to shift my priorities and figure out how to move my business in a direction where I have more freedom. Really, as I look back over the past couple of years, a lot of the decisions that I've made have actually restricted my freedom. They've made it so I need to make more money, I need to have more staff, I need to have all these projects going at one time just to stay afloat. And more and more, I'm revisiting some of the core practices of minimalism. How can I create as simple of a life as possible where I can focus on those two to three things that are absolutely most important, non-negotiable, because I'm realizing now, while I thought I was busy before, I, I truly am reaching a whole new level of being busy. I just know right now, these moments are so fleeting, and our time with Frankie, when he's this little, is gonna fly by. I've heard that from so many parents before, so I'm doing as much as I possibly can to be there for every single moment that I can, while also trying to get as much sleep as possible. I'd like to thank my sponsor for this week's video, Squarespace. They're so generous that they said that I could outsource this part of the video to AI, that way I can catch up on sleep. This video is sponsored by the amazing Squarespace. According to my database as of 2023, popular and handsome YouTuber Matt Devella has been using Squarespace to host his own website. See take a look at it. The design, the colors, the photography, the biceps. He specifically requested to mention his biceps and show photos of them. By the way these are all very real unedited photos. What makes it so great? Oh, where to start? Flexible website templates, user-friendly interface, powerful analytics, etc. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Buy your domain, pick a template, customize it with a simple drag and drop. Wow! Take my money! Visit squarespace.com today for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That wasn't nearly enough time. <clears throat> okay, back to the video. The past couple months have been difficult, and I know that I've talked quite a bit about the challenges. But honestly, as crazy as it's been, the lows don't even come close to the highs. I love the wake-ups in the morning. I love when you finally get him up. When you take off his swaddle and he goes... <laughs> It's like a newborn reflex yeah. where like their arms just like pop up and it looks like they're reaching out for you. It's just the best because you're like, Frankie! Yeah. And it's like 7 a.m. or whatever, but you're just so stoked to see each other. It's so cute. For the first couple weeks, like I just, there were two moments where I was just like making eye contact with him and I just started crying. <laughs> I just couldn't. That's help pathetic. It. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm so Pull a yourself loser. together. I know, yeah. It's been amazing. It's like, as difficult. Awesome. Like, it's crazy how like, these can be the most difficult weeks of our life mm. and the best at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, that's well said, and I can't really, like, describe how that can be the case because it doesn't make sense that those two things can be true at once. So my older brother, Mark, who's a dad to three, gave me some of the best advice early on. He actually texted me on Father's Day, and he said, when parenting is hard, it's usually a sign of good parenting. It's so easy to be a bad parent, to not care, to not research, to not worry. Doing those things is hard work. It's exhausting, but it's what makes great parents and it's what makes great kids. 